So this is part two of the 100 question tag. Um, okay, so I am on question 51. I'm just going to look at my monitor to read the questions. Last time you got a portrait taken by a photographer. I've actually never had that done. Um, do you think musicals are cheesy? No, I find musicals so annoying though. You know, I don't, I don't know. I don't like all that song and dance. So, like, I really didn't get into that whole high school musical thing. I just, oh my gosh, it's, it's just so annoying. Um, is Christmas stressful? No. I love Christmas. I love the holidays because that's when I get to see all my nieces and nephews and we get together and I, I just love it. It's never stressful. Um, ever eat a pierogi? No, I never eaten a pierogi. <laughs> Favorite type of fruit pie? Ooh, that would have to be, is pumpkin a fruit? I think pumpkin is a vegetable, right? Well, um, apple. I love, I make a really awesome apple pie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, occupations you wanted to be when you were a kid. Actually, the only one I can remember that I wanted to be is, is one, and that was um, a baker. Uh, I loved, I had an Easy Bake Oven when I was a kid, and I loved making stuff in my Easy Bake Oven. And then when I was a teenager, um, we moved down here. Yeah, we moved down here when I was a teenager, because we lived in New Hampshire. And I would make cake for my grandfather, and he has passed away. He had cancer, he passed away. Um, so he loved cake. I mean, that man had all of his teeth. He didn't have to, he had all of his teeth, and he ate so much candy, he would drink soda and eat candy and pork rinds, and he had all of his teeth, and they were good teeth. They weren't like, you know, rotted teeth. I don't, I don't know. He must, he must have brushed his teeth like every day. So, um, do you believe in ghosts? No. <laughs> um, that's not to say I don't believe, like, in in afterlife or I don't know. I I watched that show, um, Long Island Medium. Rose. Sorry y'all, she barks, she barks at everything. Um I like watching that show Long a uh, Long Island Medium and I really like Teresa. She comes off as, you know, like authentic. But no, I don't believe like in in ghosts, you know, like, you know, you're gonna see a ghost. So um, ever have a deja vu feeling? Oh yeah, I have. I get that often. Like I, it feels weird too when I have a deja vu feeling. I feel like I'm, like I just went like through a bubble or something. And I'm like, oh my gosh, haven't we done this before? It's weird. Take a daily vitamin. Yes, I actually take a <laughs> prenatal vitamin. <laughs> No, I'm not pregnant, but I mean, that's a super vitamin right there for women, so y'all should try that, try taking a prenatal vitamin. Wear slippers? No. Wear a bathrobe? No. Um, what do you wear to bed? I actually just wear a t-shirt and shorts to bed, um, like drawstring shorts that are really soft and comfortable, like exercise shorts, something like that. Um, first concert, I've never been to a concert. Um, Walmart, Target, or Kmart. Um, I guess if I had to choose one of those three, I would choose Walmart, but I go to H-E-B. I would choose H-E-B. Cheetos or Fritos? Um, mmm, I haven't had chips in so long, but I guess I would have to say Fritos. Nike or Adidas? Nike. Peanuts or sunflower seeds? Peanuts. Ever hear of the group Tresbian? See? That means like three good. <laughs> That's Spanish. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> yeah, Ever take dance lessons? Uh, no, I um, I tried out for the dance group when I was in high school, so we practiced um, for our routine, but I've never taken like professional dance lessons. Uh, I do we dance. <laughs> 
Is there a profession you picture your future spouse doing? Um, computer? Um, software programming or computer repair? Because that's what my boyfriend does. He's a computer technician, but he also does software stuff. So, can you curl your tongue? Yeah. Mm, uh, yeah, sure can. Ever want a spelling bee? No. Um, have you ever cried because you were happy? Yes. Um, own any record albums? No. Own a record player? No. Regularly burn incense? No. Ever been in love? Yes. I'm currently in love. <laughs> um, let's see here. I forgot where I was because I had to scroll. Um, who would you like to see in concert? Probably Sugar Hill. What was the last concert you saw? I've never been to a concert. Hot tea or cold tea? I prefer cold tea. You know, I live in Texas, so we like our sweet iced tea. Uh, tea or coffee? I actually, I like coffee. I drink about two cups a day, and I put some sugar-free mocha powder. I put a tablespoon in there in my coffee, and I also put in two tablespoons of sugar-free vanilla or hazelnut International Delight Creamer. And I have to use Yuban, Y-U-B-A-N brand coffee because it is, it's really smooth and it's not bitter or has like an acid taste to it. And it's almost, it's really, really good. It's like a dessert almost to me. It tastes like this really sweet cappuccino drink. I love it. So y'all should try that. It's really good. Uh, sugar or snickerdoodles? Snickerdoodles. <laughs> Can you swim well? I mean, I'm I'm no, you know, Michael Phelps, uh, you know, but I don't know. I can swim. I mean, I'm not like a professional swimmer. I'd probably drown if I got too far out. <laughs> so I guess no. <laughs> can you hold your breath without holding your nose? You know, I used to be able to do that. I don't know what happened. I have to, I have to hold my nose now because the water gets up in there. So I don't know what happened. Are you patient? Yes, I'm very patient. Um, so I don't know if, because I have some new subscribers. Hey, y'all. Um, but I had uh, my son when I was 16. And I guess it could go either one or two ways. You either learn um, new thing, new skills, you know, when you have a kid that young, or you don't, you know, which I just, that just goes with everything. But I'm very patient. And, um, they, and I didn't used to be, and I think that's because of my son, you know, because I don't want to be snappy with him. And I understand that children are not born knowing not to cross the street or knowing not to stick a fork in an outlet. I'm not saying my son has done that. He hasn't done that. But, you know, our mom, well, my mom, um, she just assumed that we knew all these things, that we were born with all these things. So I don't know, I'm really surprised that none of us are missing limbs or that we didn't die because the way we run around in the woods, you know, when we lived in the swamp, um, I'm really surprised. So, like, not jokingly, I really am. <laughs> so, wow. <laughs> um, okay. DJ or band at a wedding? I don't know, I prefer, uh, I guess I would prefer a live band. Ever won a contest? I have been winning contests like nobody's business here on YouTube. I have some really good luck, and I'm just so glad I've just been winning. There's like some type of high I get when I, well, like when I find out I won. I'm like, I won, I won, I won, I won. And then I love getting mail, so when I get mail, I'm like, I got mail, I got mail, I got mail. So, and then, of course, that, that I get to make more videos because the stuff I win, you know, because I want to, you know, show what I won. Yeah. Um, ever had plastic surgery? No, I never had plastic surgery. And um, plastic surgery kind of kind of scares me because I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want to do anything unless, like, I have to, especially with that, with, like, plastic surgery or with going to the hospital. Um, just because I have, 
I guess because I, I don't even, I don't like going to the hospital. I don't even like going to the hospital. And when my grandfather was in the hospital, of course I went to see him, but I have like a lot of anxiety and I don't understand where that comes from. Um, I guess I just associate the hospital like with death, even though I had my son in the hospital. So I really don't know what that comes from. But to me, you know, it just scares me thinking that I have to, you know, I have to put you to sleep and I'm like so terrified that I won't wake up or that I'll die or that I'll, I'll wake up and like I can't use half of my body or something. So anything that I don't uh, like absolutely have to do with that aspect, with like surgery, um, then I, I won't do it. You know, I'll try all, all other options first, you know. But that's not to say I have anything against plastic surgery because I don't. I mean, this is the only life we have to live. I mean, if that's, you know, we only have one life to live, then you need to do what you need to do to make yourself happy. And that doesn't hurt anyone else. So, man, these questions, they make you go off on a whole other direction. I, <laughs> um, okay, which are better, black or green olives? I like black olives. I used to like green olives, but they are too salty for me now. Uh, can you knit or crochet? No, but I really wish I could. Oh, man, because my, I guess she's my cousin, Lorraine. She crochets, um, she makes, like, hats. Um, and she's the one who made those earrings for me, those camo bear earrings that I did a video of. She's talented. Uh, best room for a fireplace, the living room. Uh, do you want to get married? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Am I going to have to make a part three? <laughs> I have issues with getting married. If my boyfriend was to ask me to marry him, then yes, I would marry him. But um, it, I don't want to be in a place where the only option is to get a divorce, you know, because, like, when you're not married, you could just, you know, go to your own place to cool off and then come back. And, and I mean, yes, you could do that with when you're married, but it seems like when you're married, the one thing, you know, because when you're mad, you know, you get mad, you say things you're not supposed to say, you know, because you want to hurt the other person's feelings. The first thing they say is, I want a divorce. You know, that's terrible. And then there are stories that I, yeah, I see about, you know, in the news of people who've been together for like 50 years, you know, and then they get a divorce. And, it, and they hate each other. They just hate each other. And I don't ever want to be in that place, you know. But I do love my boyfriend. I mean, we've been together for almost 10 years. And he just is so great to um, Emmanuel. That's my son. And he's just been there for me. <clears throat> when he was a stranger to me, he was there for me when my family wasn't. When so okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, these questions. I'm telling you. Uh, if married, how long have you been married? I never. I have actually never been married. I've never been engaged. No one's. Um, well, yes, someone did propose to me, but I've never been engaged. I said no. Nope. Uh, who was your high school crush? That would be my son's biological father. We were in high school together. Uh, we dated. <laughs> Do you cry and throw a fit until you get your own way? No way. And I watched Bridezilla's, you know, those, no. And you could, you you know, there was a, a show that came on, Where Are They Now, Bridezilla's, and I think only one couple was still married. So, yeah. Do you have kids? Do you want kids? Uh, yes, I have one kid, Emmanuel. He's 11, and he is just so cute, and he's um, he's Hispanic, and he is just so handsome and so smart <laughs> and kind of sarcastic, <laughs> uh, but I don't want any more kids. I'm 27. I'll be 28 in November, and I don't want to have any more kids. Um, and the thing is, is that a lot of people get on to, you know, especially young, young people, like 16-year-olds, all oh, the money, there's, you got to, 
kids cost so much and you have to have patience with them and yes that's true but I'm telling you what I think if I think if you know teenagers knew more about what they had to go through when your kids in school I think that would change their minds about having kids at a young age and I don't I don't care if you have a kid at 16 or 17 I mean you know what I mean you have as much knowledge about raising a kid, I think, as like a 30 or 40 year old would. You know what I mean? It's new. Yeah. And that, the thing is with that is that, of course, a successful 40 year old person, you know, will be able to take care of a child better financially, but that doesn't mean they're in a better place emotionally, you know, than a teenager is. I don't know. I mean, I have. I have issues with that because I was a teen mom. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Green. But I have two favorite colors, green and pink. Oof, love green and pink. Do you miss anyone right now? Well, because I was talking about my grandfather. I miss my grandfather. <laughs> uh, something that happened to you in middle school. Dang. I don't know. There was a lot of... I guess a lot of things happened to me in middle school. Um, my, I got picked on a lot. Um, I was bullied because I had freckles, and like that's abnormal. I, I don't know how that's abnormal, you know. And I was so, I was bullied so much about it that I wore flannel, like you know, long, you know, flannel shirts all the time and my teacher told me that my the students my classmates were complaining that I stank um, because it was hot and I was sweating and I didn't care uh, because I didn't want anyone to see the freckles on my arms because I got made fun of for having freckles yeah so okay that was the hundred question tag and I know this is a long one but I really appreciate y'all watching. Thank you all so much for watching. And I tag all of you because this is a fun tag. It's long, but, man, it really helps to get to know, you know, us. You know, we can get to know each other. All right, thank y'all so much for